We're hearing from a man who claims he was kicked out of a gun store on Brainerd Road for his wearing a mask inside. With a countywide mask mandate in effect, the man says he was confused by the demand. But the store manager at North Georgia Reloading on Brainerd Road has a different take on what happened. Channel 3's Mary Frances Hoots joins us in the studio. She spoke with both sides in this story. Mary Frances, what do we know? Well, Greg, the store manager says he asked the man to pull his mask down and he never told him to leave. The man tells us he was told it was a no mask. He did not take it off. He needed to leave. The manager says he left before they could explain their reasoning. He said, sir, you have to pull your mask down for me. And he ignored me, so my other employee said, sir, you have to pull your mask down for me. Manager at North Georgia Reloading, Shay Davis, says Andrew Clark walked in their store Thursday with a mask on after looking at the no mask sign on the door. So he was instructed by management to pull it down. They didn't tell me to remove it for a little bit. They said this is a no mask store. Clark was taken aback by this demand because of the mask mandate in Hamilton County. I'm very cognizant of the, uh, the rapidity of this virus spread and, the, and how highly dangerous it can be. So he questioned the employees. And he said, why? We said, well, it's a gun store. Cause it's a gun store. That was his only explanation. Store managers say he left before they could explain why they wanted him to pull it down. Before we could even tell him, you have to flash your face for the camera so we can see who you are. Davis says this is for everyone's safety. We've got a lot of things here that you don't want to hit the street. Number one, with guns and ammo. Number two, we don't know what people's intentions are. And Davis says it's even been recommended by officials for everyone who comes in their store to show their face. I've had numerous police officers and a couple of ATF agents tell me that when people come into the store, being that we are in a higher crime area, that we need to be able to see their face. After explaining to Clark the reasoning management gave to pull his mask down, he still didn't feel safe. No, not, not with them standing in there with no mask on. What I don't want to breathe their dirty air. The Hamilton County Health Department says they are investigating the complaint, but since the store is considered private property, local authorities say they cannot enforce masks inside. Live in the studio, Mary Frances Hoots, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.